Hi, welcome to More Than Just Medicine. My name is Sanjay Gupta. I'm a consultant cardiologist and I work in York. Today, I wanted to talk to you about a condition called atrial fibrillation. Atrial fibrillation is a heart rhythm disturbance and one of the commonest heart rhythm disturbances um, in the Western world. Okay, about two to three percent of the population in the Western world have atrial fibrillation. It is a condition that um, uh, is more prevalent as you get older and it would be reasonable to say that 25% of patients above the age of 80 have atrial fibrillation. Um, because it's a very common condition, it affects a lot of people uh, and uh, can cause a great deal of anxiety. So the first thing is to try and explain to you exactly what atrial fibrillation is. And I'm going to use an analogy here so that you can understand exactly why it occurs and what happens when you have atrial fibrillation. For a little while, let's assume uh, that the heart is like a big boat, okay? And the boat is uh, rowed uh, uh, by a hundred oarsmen. So God gives us a hundred oarsmen to row our boats forward. Uh, of these hundred oarsmen, we have 85 strong oarsmen that sit at the bottom deck of the boat and 15 weaker oarsmen that sit at the top deck of the boat, all right? Uh, the captain of the ship uh, is one of the 15 weak guys at the top. The captain of the ship's job is twofold. Firstly, he tells all the oarsmen to row in a coordinated fashion. And secondly, he tells the oarsmen how fast or slow to row, depending on the conditions of the sea, all right? So um, when the seas have been rough for a long period of time, then it is reasonable to say that the oarsmen have to work much harder to row the boat forward. Okay, the, um, in, um, in patients, uh, if you have high blood pressure, that is the same as having stormy seas. So if you have high blood pressure, the heart has to work much harder to pump the blood uh, out. And that is the same as the oarsman having to work much harder. And because high blood pressure can occur for several years before it is actually picked up, the oarsmen are doing all that extra work for several years, all right? Another uh, possibility is also when uh, a person gets older because the arteries, the heart arteries tend to harden up as you get older and therefore the heart has to work harder to get the blood across. So again, uh, same thing the oarsmen are having to work harder. When the oarsmen are working harder for a long period of time, the 15 guys at the top, the 15 weak oarsmen, can get tired. And when they get tired, they say, you know, we want to rest. And when they decide to take a rest, uh, three things happen. The first is that the boat is only being rowed by 85, 85 oarsmen because 15 have taken a rest, i.e. the heart starts beating at 85% efficiency as opposed to 100% efficiency because the top two chambers, the atria, have stopped working. That condition is atrial fibrillation. So the first thing is you lose about 15% efficiency. And number two, the heart starts beating irregularly. That is because the captain of the ship um, is one of the 15 guys. So if the 15 guys have stopped working, the captain of the ship being one of those 15 guys has stopped working and therefore there is no one telling the 85 guys at the bottom um, to row in a coordinated fashion. So the heart beats irregularly. And the third thing that happens is, remember one of the jobs of the captain was to tell the 85, to tell everyone how fast or slow to row. And if he's not doing his job, then the 85 guys left at the bottom have no one telling them how fast or slow to go. Uh, and so uh, the, the 85 guys at the bottom can go very fast when they don't need to or can go very slow when they need to be faster. So the heart can go very fast or very slow in, in atrial fibrillation. So three things, okay? Number one, the heart beats irregularly, irregularly. Two, you lose about 15% efficiency or the pumping ability of the heart. And three, it can go very fast or very slow. Those are the three things that happen in atrial fibrillation. Hence, it is a disorder of rhythm. The heart beats irregularly as opposed to regularly. And it is a disorder of rate because uh, the heart can go very fast when it does not need to go that fast or 
go very slow when it needs to go faster. What does that mean? It means that if you're sitting there, you would normally, you know, if I'm sitting here talking to you, my heart rate should be about 70 beats per minute. If I have atrial fibrillation, uh, then it could be at uh, 120 beats per minute whilst I'm sitting there. Then imagine what happens when I start walking. Well, normally if I walk, my heart rate would go up from say 70 to 90 beats per minute. But for someone who is in atrial fibrillation and has a heart rate of 120 whilst they're sitting there, when they start walking, the heart rate can shoot up to 160 beats per minute. And therefore the patient will feel more breathless and more tired because they will feel like they're doing an activity to make their heart go that fast. For me to get my heart rate up to 160, I would have to be doing a fairly brisk job. So a normal person with atrial fibrillation may feel exactly like I would um, after a jog, except that he would feel that way at rest. Um, and so um, this is atrial fibrillation. Uh, and in the next series of lectures, I'm gonna talk about what it means to your quality of life and also what the risks are. Thank you so much for listening. Take care.